Hi guys, welcome back. Um, I hope you've all had a brilliant week. Um, I've had a great week, it's been really busy, really full on, but I've loved every second of it. I suppose a highlight was working with um, Gabare Sidibe on Monday for the Grimsby press junket and premiere, that was really fun. Um, and then on Wednesday, um, I gained a diploma in brow services. So these bad boys have been um, tinted, waxed, threaded, as has um, my top lip, which I've never done before. <gasps> in fact, it feels a bit sore today, a bit weird. Um, so yeah, it's been a great week, but really excitingly, we launched a couple of new products this week. So I'm gonna do a quick video showing you how to achieve a really pretty natural makeup look using the new products. So um, I took myself off to Canary Wharf to our freestanding studio on Thursday and bought myself some of this the nude finish tinted moisturizer is that focusing go on focus no it doesn't want to okay um thank you so much roxy and becky and gabby for all your help um i wear the light to medium tint and um, so it's the very same formula as before it's just been repackaged into this gorgeous oh look i haven't even taken the film off the top Ooh, lovely in this gorgeous nude packaging which i love um very quickly just to state i have hydrated my skin i've then added some illuminating moisture balm to give my skin a little bit of a glow oh look the camera's trying to focus there we go i've brightened under my eye with um the light to medium bisque intensive skin serum corrector could this be struggling because of the window behind me i just thought i'd try and give you guys a more interesting backdrop and that's the concealer in natural normally i film against that wall but it's a bit dull i thought so I've done that already to save a bit of time um, so I've popped the tinted moisturiser into the palm of my hand and with a foundation brush I'm just going to sweep it over my skin. Now I'm using a foundation brush I think really so you guys can see the application um, a bit more easily. If I was just doing this um, in the morning then I would just whack it on with my fingers and blend it in. Um, so you can see it does have a really lovely bit of coverage. It's not heavy by any means, but a lot of women I think worry that tinted moisturiser means no coverage. But you can see this is doing a really good job of toning down the high colour in my skin whilst giving a really nice natural cover. Come on, focus. Camera, well done. Um, and I'll take some of that over my forehead as well. Lovely, and then typically I will go back in with my fingers just to blend the product out but you can see in moments it has given me a pretty neutralized base with a really healthy glow and that nude finish that the name suggests now i'm going to do some pot rouge but before i do that i'm going to use my trusty skin foundation stick. This is the skin foundation stick. <laughs> it doesn't want to do it in warm beige. I apologise for the lack of focus there. And I'm just going to take a little bit just through the centre of my face where I generally get slightly higher coverage. And I'm just going to use, oh I didn't put any on my chin but I'm tapping in. I'm just going to use my fingers to blend that in. And that is simply to control slightly better that extra high coverage that I sometimes have um, in my face. I obviously, because I'm filming, I did exfoliate um, when I showered not long ago, so that's probably why there's a little bit more high colour there than normal. So I'm just using a tiny bit of skin foundation stick through the centre of the face just to control any high colour. But there you go, that is the nude finish tinted moisturiser. Now on my cheek for a bit of colour, I'm going to use my Uber Beige Pot Rouge with my full coverage brush and just pat some of that into the apples of the cheek. Um, smiling at myself as always when it comes to doing blusher. This ensures that you really do set your blusher on the highest point of the cheek, um, which is the most flattering placement. Lovely. And now, 
I'm going to set that with our other brand new product of the week. Here it is. This is the Nude Finish Illuminating Powder um, by Bobbi Brown in this gorgeous nude packaging. Really lovely clip, it's magnetic so it clips shut. That's really satisfying. Um, and then as you can see, it's a gorgeous blend of different tones of powder, some matte, some slightly pearlized, so it gives the skin that gorgeous luminous finish. And I'm gonna apply it with the new angled face brush. Um, the joy of this powder is it's not merely a makeup, there are skin benefits too. So it contains um, sodium hyaluronate, which will help keep moisture in the skin and prevent the powder from doing that cakey finish. Um, but also it has mulberry and white grape and scutellaria, which help to brighten the skin. So really, it's a little bit magic. But as you can see, and if any of you saw my Insta post on Friday, you'll have seen how this powder with those soft pearl pigments gives that really pretty blown out finish. And you can see I'm not holding back, I'm applying a lot, yet my skin is still glowing. Oh, that looks lovely. Shame about the bags under my eyes. Um, so yes, yeah, so you can be really quite generous with your application. It won't look powdery or cakey. I absolutely love it. Now, to add warmth, I'm going to use another of the Nude Finish Illuminating Powders. I'm gonna use the Golden Tone. Now, these are fantastic setting powders, but you can, if you want to, use them for ulterior motives. So I'm going to use a slightly deeper tone and use it as a bronzer. So where I would normally put my bronzer, I'm gonna dust it over the higher points of the cheek and back into the temple. Oh, lovely. And you see already, it's got that gorgeous warmth to the skin and you get all that benefit of the gorgeous pearlized pigments. I'll do the same on the other side, up into the temple. On my neck, as always, just to make sure my neck is as warm as the rest of my face. And then up over the top of my forehead as well. Lovely, I'm just moving slightly closer to the camera, I think that'll help keep it in focus. Poor Bear's been really poorly this week, so I don't have time <laughs> to refilm this if this goes wrong. Um, so I've been doing my admin today um, as I film, yet I've had Bear, but thankfully the wonderful Catherine has come to pick him up for me. So I've got a couple of hours to do this, do some emails and some expenses in a moment. Right, okay, pretty. What are we thinking of the nude finish illuminating powder? Do we love it? think so. Ready ho. So now I did some brows before and I used my, she says glaring for it, I used my perfectly defined long wear brow pencil. Now because my eyebrows were tinted this week, look at them, thanks Lampross and Amelie for working on my brows, um, I used a slightly lighter colour, so I used grey because where they've been dyed they're slightly stronger looking naturally so I didn't want to suddenly have a really strong brow so I used a slightly lighter pencil on them today, or as I normally use the saddle. Okay, now on to, should I do lips or eyes? Let's do lips. I'm gonna start with the Bear Art Stick. This is brand new this week, and it's Bobby's first foray into the nuder tones of Art Stick. So I'm just gonna sweep that over my bottom lip, kiss it up to my top lip, and then just fill in the top lip slightly as well. I love it. Just a really pretty nude everyday lip colour. They're so long wearing, I don't have to worry about that or think about that again. Um, and now I'm going to go into the Nude on Nude Eye Palette. So this is an iconic palette that we've done before, but it's full of Bobbi's all time best selling colours. Love, 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 love. So we've got Nude Cement Wheat Espresso and malted. Nude, wheat, cement, no, nude, cement, wheat, espresso, and malted. So I'm just gonna show you how with these neutral colors you can create a really beautiful eye. First, a bit of long wear eye base. This is in the color medium, and this is going to help my um, powder shadow to adhere to the skin. So from the doe foot, I'm simply gonna pop a couple of dots, oh, she says, sweeping on each lid, and then buff it out with my finger and that as I said will just help the powder shadows 
adhere to the skin and keep them there all day. They also do a really nice job of slightly neutralising the tones on the lid. So using the brush that comes in the palette, I've got the angled shadow brush head on one end and the eyeliner brush on the other end. But I'm going to start with the angled shadow brush end and I'm going to go into, she says, looking, what colour shall I do? Woo! Uh, let's go with, I'll go with the malted because that's the look I did this week. So I've got the malted shadow on my brush and I'm simply going to press it into the long white eye base all over the lid and just bring that shadow up into the crease of the eye. I'm then going to dip back into the malted and just sweep a fair amount of the shadow under my lower lid. Did you see that? I just, I just remembered to lift my head up. None of this disappearing out of shot while I do my lower liner. So just sweep it under the lash line. I like it quite nice and um, thick under the lower lash line. I think it makes it look more natural. So I'll do the same on the other side. So I'm just pressing that malted shadow all the way over the lid and just bringing it up into the crease of the eye. And then I shall go back into that lovely malted colour and sweep it all the way under my lower lid in a nice, thick, soft line to keep it nice and diffused. Now, for the liner, I'm going to take the tip of my eyeliner brush and I'm going to dip it in a glass of water. Just a little bit, but I just want to wet the head of my brush. Um, and I'm going to pop that into just a certain place on that espresso colour. And I always do the wet liner on the same spot in the palette so I don't ruin the powder. Um, and then using this liner brush, I'm simply going to sweep the espresso tone all the way along the lash line. Now the fact that I've dampened the brush will mean that this liner is slightly stronger but also that it will last that little bit better. So I'm just going to get a good bit of liner all the way along the lash line and then uh, I'll leave it for a second and then I'll turn the brush the other way up and just buff the colour out. So going back with the angled shadow brush head I'm just going over that line to ensure it has a nice soft finish. So I'll do the same on the other eye, so dipping my brush back in my water. I've never, ever, ever licked my eyeliner brush and done it that way. Don't do that, ladies. <laughs> Have a glass of water ready, and I'm gonna do the same on the other side. So just push that slightly damp eyeshadow brush with the espresso shadow all the way along the lash line into the inside corner of the eye. Can you still see me? Good. Don't want to go out of shot for you. And then I'll leave it a second and then I'll use the angled shadow brush just to buff that out. So again, going into the angled shadow brush, going over the top of that espresso. And all I'm doing is just gently buffing the edges with the head of the angled shadow brush. Great. And then, of course, Let's use a little bit of OMG Wow Eye Opening Mascara um, just to frame those eyes that we've done there. So I'm just dragging that lovely big wand through my lashes, having rested it right at the very base of the lashes and dragging it through to the tip. Do you know what? I think I'm getting better at the weird <laughs> mascara application face. Maybe you can tell me different, but I feel like I've got a bit more control with what I'm doing. You see, girls, practice makes perfect. And we'll do the same on the other side. If only I could do my mascara whilst looking in the lens. The weird thing is, of course, though, is that when you look in the lens, you can't see a thing because you're just looking at a camera. Um, so there we go. Because I'm doing a slightly more neutral look, I'm not going to do too much mascara but I just want to remind y'all that nude makeup doesn't necessarily mean no makeup 
Now I'm a massive makeup lover so I'd be really upset if someone tried to do my makeup and basically didn't apply any. Yes I'm using sheerer formulas and neutral colours but the finish is still very much a makeup finish. So I'm just going to make sure I've got plenty of mascara on and then as, off, as always just turn the head of my brush, of my wand sorry, and just coat those lower lashes she says. If I hold up my mirror is that going to, there we go. Now you can see me do my lower lashes without me dipping my head out of shot. This is a really old mirror and actually it's totally broken. So every time I have to hold my thumb in place to stop the mirror from swinging. Maybe it's time to buy a new one. I'm slightly attached to it though because my mum got it for me. Um, okay, and then let's do the other side. Pretty. And there we have a really quick nude makeup using our new nude finish tinted moisturiser and nude finish illuminating powder which I absolutely adore. Quickly though, um, let's just jazz it up so it's not quite so natural. I'm going to take the rich nude which is a slightly deeper nude art stick and sweep that over my lips to get a slightly stronger lip look. Nice. I'm going to take it over my cheek. Oh, I can hear you all thinking, what's she doing? But you can use the art sticks on the cheeks as well as cheek colour. So I just want to amp up my cheek colour slightly. Pretty. And I'm just using my full coverage brush to buff that in. So that's the rich nude art stick on my cheeks and buffed in with the full coverage brush. Bobby is fantastic at creating versatile, multi-purpose products and ladies we all know that multitasking is our forte and actually if we can have makeup products that double up then that's really super handy. And then I just want to buff a little bit of that gorgeous espresso colour. Now I use this as liner but if on an eyeshadow brush I just use a tiny bit just to sweep up through the crease of the eye you'll see how very quickly we can make what was a nudie eye look significantly stronger just by adding another little bit of shadow. So you see I'm pressing it and sweeping it through the crease of the eye then just using my ring finger just to soften any edges but you see the difference so quickly that you can make just by adding a little bit of deeper colour through the crease of the eye. Which is good because actually my I'm having my annual evening out this evening. Good gracious. Um, so I am doing a slightly more evening makeup now so that I don't have to top up again, she says, as I'm against the clock <laughs> before Bear gets home. Thanks Catherine for having him. Okay, so slightly stronger eye and then let's finish with a bit more mascara. Now I do just want to have a really quick chat about setting powder um, because I know I've talked about the new Luminous Finish powder. Um, we have a couple of powders on offer at Bobbi Brown and I've had a couple of questions on my Instagram about the difference between them so I will talk you through it just now. But there you go, quick, quick top up, quick demonstration of how you can make the eyes look that little bit stronger just with a bit of the espresso shadow um, and then just a tiny bit more of the powder through the centre of the face. Tell you what, I am loving that rich nude art stick on my cheeks. So I just want to talk to you about powders. I've already discussed the new uh, nude finish illuminating powder and um, so it's a setting powder which is great if you want your skin a to look a bit brighter have a slightly luminous finish and to retain a bit of that moisture the other options are 
powders like this. This is the Sheer Finish Pressed Powder from Bobbi Brown. This also comes in a loose formula if you prefer a loose powder. The joy of this powder is that it's completely oil free um, and so it will set and mattify whatever makeup you are wearing. So if you want an everyday setting powder that's sheer, not going to alter the colour of your foundation and last all day, then sheer finish, pressed or loose powder is the one for you. We also do, and you know, I love this. This is the Skin Weightless Powder Foundation. This foundation can be worn on its own as a foundation or you can use it to amp up the coverage of the foundation you're already wearing and that's a technique I like to do um, often. It's oil free, it's a buildable coverage so you can wear just a dusting uh, for a lightweight look or you can really build it, build it, build it for full coverage. We then also have these which you've probably seen before. This is the brightening finishing powder. Now similarly to the nude finish illuminating powder, you've got the same skincare benefits. So sodium hyaluronate to lock moisture into the skin and prevent that cakey finish. And then also the white grape mulberry and scutellary extract that will help to brighten the skin. However, this is a finishing powder and not a setting powder. So these beautiful tones, this is the brightening nudes on my skin tone, would give, I'll just do it so you can see, um, a kind of a soft focus finish wherever I apply it. So it's something I love to apply to brides just as they're about to leave. If I get a bit closer, hello me. Um, I hope you'll see it just has a little bit more pearl and a bit more, a very subtle sparkle, more than the illuminating, nude finish illuminating powder. So it's something that you would set, <laughs> it's like a game of chess down here, with your sheer finish pressed powder all over to set your makeup, then you'd give your skin that all over luminosity with a brightening finishing powder. I hope that has helped answer some of the questions from some of you lovely subscribers. So, excellent. Bobby's Ultimate Nude Makeup, love it. Focusing on nude finish tinted moisturizer and nude finish illuminating powder. Guys, thank you again. I've so loved all your comments um, this last week. Thanks again for your continued suggestions. If you're enjoying this channel, please, please, please subscribe. I don't want you to miss out on any videos that I may post um, midweek. At the moment, I'm looking at posting every Sunday. And if you like this video and enjoyed it, please, please press the like button. I don't know what, I don't know what that is, but there's the little thumb thing. So click on it if you liked it. Um, and yeah, watch this space for more videos coming up. Have a great week, everyone, and I shall see you soon. Bye.